The final act on the Wiesman FIR Ski Jumping World Cup for the 22-23 season saw the jumpers head to Planica Slovenia for the final two individual competitions of the World Cup season and the last team event. This would be the fifth and sixth round of the campaign on the Flying Hill. The first day of competition on the HS240 Hill on the Friday was postponed due to high winds and so round 37 was moved to the Saturday morning and shortened to one round. Stefan Kraft of Austria, who's been on phenomenal form over the last couple of rounds on the World Cup, continued his fine form here. The Austrian not only threw the furthest, landing 239.5 metres, but also received the best star marks of 59.5 points to win the competition. So Kraft takes it from Lanishek with Zila in third. So congratulations to uh, Stefan Kraft, whose victory takes him to within 10 points of Halva Granerud in the ski flying standings. So there was only a couple of hours between the end of the individual event and the start of the team event. Um, the home fans were hoping that Slovenia could finish on the top step of the podium. However, Austria had other ideas. Daniel Schöfnig at one had the best jumps in both of his rounds. Michael Haybuck was third and then second in his two jumps, while Jan Hurl was the same as Haybock and Austria, who were third midway through the competition, edged their way towards the top of the podium. And Stefan Klaff was first in his two jumps, which meant Austria took the win by just over six points from Slovenia. Yeah, I think uh, one of my best days in my life, uh, flying in Planica with 20,000 of people and a great atmosphere. I heard in the second round they were playing Sweet Caroline. It was fantastic and from the from upstairs. And uh, yeah, to beat the Slovenians here in Planica is for us uh, yeah, something unreal and uh, we're really proud about this. So congratulations to Austria. Their first team flying win in 11 years. Daniel Schöfnig, Michael Haybock, Jan Hurl and Stefan Kraft. And so to the final day of action and huge drama would be played out in front of the Slovenian fans who were desperately hoping for a home win. Timmy Zeitz of Slovenia was fifth after the first round, having flown 232 and a half metres. He backed it up in round two with a flight of 234, which having opted for a lower gate, meant the compensation points of 27.3 took him top. Anze Lanishek, leader after the first round, having flown 239.5 metres, then laid down a monster 242-metre jump, much to the delight of his coaches. But would it be enough to overtake Zeitz at the top of the standings? The answer, no. By 0.1 of a point, Zeitz gets the better of Lanishek. Stefan Kraft of Austria rounded off the podium. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Uh, I did two really nice flights and thank, thank you to Robbie uh, to make this de decision for uh, gate down. And yeah, um, it's really nice to end season uh, in the first place in the first place in front of home crowd. So congratulations to Timmy Zeitz of Slovenia as he gives the home fans something to cheer about. In the ski flying standing, Stefan Kraft takes the Crystal Globe. Halva Granu could only finish 13th in that final competition, so Stefan Kraft wins it by 30 points. In the overall World Cup standings, Granu wins it by 338 points from Stefan Kraft with Lanishek in third. So a third overall crystal globe for Halva Granu of Norway, the best ski jumper this season. Well, that's it for the 22-23 season. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage and we'll see you all again next season.